came as a freshman in 1953 and I retired uh, in 1992. So I, I was away from the campus one year when I taught in the public schools in Oklahoma City and another year when I worked on my doctorate at Florida State University. But the rest of the time, so I really have like a 62 year history with this institution. Then it's only 125 years old. So that's like almost half of the time I've been here. What strikes you as, you know, that the changes that are the most significant to you in that time that you saw? Well, yeah, there have been tremendous changes. When I came, it was Central State College, and then, of course, we went to Central State University and the University of Central Oklahoma. So there was name change, but not just name change, because along with that came all kinds of things. When I came, there were a, there was a hundred total faculty and staff. Uh, now there's like, what, 1,500 faculty and staff. When I came, there were 1,200 students. Now there's 17,000 plus students. So there's been a growth, uh, the campus has grown a great deal. When I came, I, I can't remember, but, but there's so many more new buildings, there's so much landscaping, uh, all kinds of, and of course the academic programs. When I came, this was primarily a teacher training institution. It had come from Central State Normal School, which was a, a teacher training thing, to, and now it is what uh, the, the current people like to say, Metropolitan University with all kinds of majors. We have strong majors in other things besides education. Still produce a lot of good teachers, but there are so many others. It's a very uh, much more diverse offering now.